Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting, quick and relaxing algebra question. We know that a plus b equal to 4, b plus c equal to 6, a plus c equal to 8, and we need to solve this question for a, b, and c. So if you have your answer, your solution, you can also write this solution in the comments below. So right now I'm going to show you three the best and quick methods. How can you solve this question? So before solving this, I'm going to call this first uh, this equation as the first equation. A b plus c equal to 6, this is our second equation equation and the third one a plus c equal to 8 this is our third equation so and on the left side right here or for example on the left side I'm going to show you how can we solve this question so our first method how can we solve this question so this is our first method from the first equation right here a plus b equal to 4 let's express a so a equal to 4 minus b okay so from I'm going to explain you quick quick so from from the first one so we have what we have that a equal to 4 minus b a equal to 4 minus b this is from the from the first equation right now let's substitute this 4 minus b so instead of this a let's sub substitute in equation 3 so instead of this a, a we're going to plug in 4 minus b so our second step as a result what do we have uh, from the third equation so from third equation what do we have we have instead of a we're going to plug in 4 minus b so we have 4 minus b 4 minus b right here plus c plus c equal to equal to 8 so in the third equation we just plug in we just plug in 4 we just plug in 4 minus b let's simplify it so as a result what do we have 4 minus b plus c equal to 8 so from here our c our c is equal to 4 plus b so c equal to 4 plus b okay so c equal to 4 plus plus b and the final step let's substitute the c equal to 4 plus b into second equation okay into second equation so let's do it right now into second equation into into second equation so we're gonna check this we're gonna write it a second and we're gonna plug in instead of this c right here we're gonna plug in mm, 4 plus b so we have b plus instead of c we're going to plug in 4 plus b so plus 4 plus b 4 plus b and equal to equal to 6 equal to we're going to plug in it into into second equation so equal to 6 equal to 6 what do we have from here so we have b uh, so we have b plus 4 plus b so we have 2b yeah 2b plus 4 equal to equal to 6 and from here we can find real quick our b because 2b equal to 2 and b is equal to b is equal to 1 so this is our b so we find our b and right now we can easily find our uh, our a for example from this expression so a equal to 4 minus b and we know b so from here we have a equal to equal to 4 minus minus b but b equal to equal to 1 so we have that our a is equal to is equal to 3 so our a is equal to 3 and we can easily find real quick our our c we have a lot of a lot of equations so for example this one c equal to 4 uh, plus b so from here we have c equal to 4 plus b but b equal to b equal to 1 so as a result our c is equal to is equal to 5 so this is our first method but i want to show you uh, the second method so from here we have that our a b and c a b and c equal to a 3 b 1 and c 5 3 1 5 right now the second method right here i'm gonna write uh, uh, this method on the on the right side Dif different method and also really great method for uh, for this uh, equation so first of all we're gonna add every each of these equations so a plus b plus b plus c and plus a plus c yeah so we have a plus b a plus b plus b plus c and plus a plus c a plus c equal to 4 plus 6 plus 8 as a result we have we have 18 18 here yeah? so that, let's let's simplify this real quick so as a result we have a plus a so we have 2a plus b plus b plus 2b plus c plus c so plus 2c equal to 18 and from here our thumb uh, when we cancel it by by 2 yeah when we cancel this by 2 by 2 by 2 we have a plus b plus c equal to equal to 9 so we have a thumb of each of these uh, each of these values and right now let's subtract first equation 
from this equation, let's call this equation as, for example, 4. This is our first equation. And let's, let's subtract. As a result, we have a plus b plus c minus a plus b. So we plug in the first equation from here. We uh, subtract. Yeah, we have minus a uh, plus b plus b equal to 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4. Yeah, really great. And right now we're going to cancel this one, A, B, and A, and B right here. And we can get from here, our C real quick. Yeah, this method, maybe this is a little bit faster. So C is equal to, uh, C is equal to 5. Yeah, from here we can easily get, uh, we can easily get our 5 in a few, in a few seconds. Let's, for example, substitute uh, C equal to 5, for example, to second equation. Yeah, let's do it right now. So B plus C equal to 6. So we know that B plus C, B plus C equal to 6, but C equal to, C equal to 5. So from here, what do we have? We have B, B plus 5 equal to equal to 6 so from here our b is equal to is equal to 1 so b is equal to b is equal to 1 and right now the final step let's find our a we know from the first equation that a plus b equal to 4 yeah so we know that a plus b equal to 4 so our a plus b equal to 4 but b equal to 1 so from here our a is equal to a is equal to 3. These both methods maybe are uh, similar to each other but with, with a little bit different different approach. So I really hope you understand these two methods. But the third one maybe uh, maybe you need this maybe you need it in a high school first of all I'm gonna underline it at the third method right here and I'm gonna rewrite our, uh, our system right here real quick. So we have a plus b equal to 4, b plus c equal to 6, and a plus c, a plus c equal to equal to 8. And right now the third method. I just want to write with this method. This method is called matrix method, method of Gaussian elimination. Okay, so let's uh, create a matrix right here. So instead of this system of equation, let's create a coefficients. So from here we know that our matrix will be like 3 by 3, 3, li uh, three rows and three, 3 lines. So as a result, we know, we know that 3 variables we will have a plus b plus c. So we know that a Plus from, from the first equation, we know that we have a, we have b, but we don't have c, so we need to write it as plus 0 times c equal to 4. We need to create a matrix, yeah? Second equation, we don't have a, so we have 0 times a plus b plus c equal to 6. And from the third equation, we don't have b, so as a result, we have a plus 0 times b plus c equal to equal to 8. So as a result, we can easily create a matrix right here. So our matrix looks like that. So from the first equation, we have coefficients 1, 1, 0. From the second equation, we have 0, 1, 1. And from the third equation, we have 1, 0, 1. And as a result, on the right side, we have our answers 4, 6, and 8. 4, 6, and 8. And right now we need to create this diagonal right here with the coefficients 1, 1, and 1, or it doesn't matter, maybe it can be 2, but this triangle, we need to have zero, we need to have zeros. So that's why our first step, let's subtract from the first row, let's subtract row, row 3. Mm -hmm. Let's do it right now. So let's do it on the on the bottom right here. So as a result, what do we, what do we have? We, we're going to subtract uh, first row row first from row row three as a result we have the the same first one so we have one one zero the second one the same without any changes zero one one and we subtract we subtract the the first row from the third one so we have one minus one we have zero zero minus one we have minus one and we have one and right here we have without any changes four and six and because we mm, subtract eight uh, th first one from the third uh, third row we need to subtract eight minus four so we have we have four and the next step and the next step right here let's uh, add row two to row three so this row we're gonna add to this one as a result the first one without any changes so we have one one zero and the second row we have zero one one and we add the second row to the third one so we have zero minus one uh, plus one we have zero and we have right here we have two and as a result this one without any changes four x six and we add th second to the third so we have six plus four we have we have ten 
we have 10. And right now we have this thing, we have the zeros right here, we have this triangle with zeros, and we have this, this line 1, 1, and 2. As a result, we can write our final, uh, final uh, equations. So right here, x right here, yeah, we have over here a, yeah, we have uh, this one is a, this one is b, and this was this one is is c. So we can write uh, three equations. But uh, the first one we can easily start with this c. So two c equal to ten. So two c equal to ten, and from here, our c is equal to is equal to five. So from here, our c is equal to five. How can we find our b? Of course, we're gonna plug in it to this uh, second equation from the row from row two. We know that b plus c. B, b plus c equal to 6, yeah, from here. So we can easily find that our b plus c, we know that c equal to 5, so b plus 5 equal to 6, and we had the same equation before, so b equal to b equal to 1, yeah, b equal to 1. And the third thing from the first row, we know a plus b equal to 4, so a plus b equal to 4, and from here we have that our a plus b equal to 1, equal to 4, so our a is equal to 3. And here is our answer. And you know, uh, this question is not that hard. I know that maybe this is like uh, the easiest question, because a basic system of equation, but in this video I want to gather three methods. Yeah, we have the first method. This one I also find this is a great method to solve this question. We just add all of these equations, and this one is also great. And the third extra method, uh, called with the method, uh, the method of ma matrix method, the method of Gaussian elimination. Yeah, so this is also really great method. So let's write our final answer to this question. I really hope you understand it. I really hope you learn something new. So a equal to three b equal to 1 and c equal to c equal to 5 so three three roots and every method tells us that our root is is uh, correct of course you can write your thoughts write your response in the comments below let's discuss a little bit about this uh, this question right now we can see this solution you can easily pose the solution and write your response write your answer write your questions in the comments below so i really hope you understand my solution i really hope you learn something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of questions on my youtube channel a lot of challenges so i really hope you enjoy it so take care of yourself wish you all the best in your life and see you in the next videos